2018 Audi Q8. Audi has shown the Q8 Sport concept twice now, though it did at least go to the trouble of repainting it yellow for Geneva. Big deal, you say? But this car is a big deal, not only as a design preview for 2018's Q8 SUV but because its key tech will appear on production August before the end of this year, first in the form of the new A8 saloon. Bringing the promise of increased efficiency with an impressive turn of speed is a mild hybrid powertrain, which in the Q8 concept combines a 0.9 kWh lithium-ion battery under the rear luggage compartment and a Matus 26 bhp 125 pounds foot electric motor sandwiched between the more conventional elements of the powertrain, a 3.0-liter, twin-turbo petrol V6 and 8-speed Tiptronic transmission. Energy flows between motor and battery via the car's 48-volt system, with the motor wearing many hats, starter motor, generator under braking, additional power unit for hard acceleration and sole power source in traffic. The aim is the grunt of a V8 with the efficiency of something more modest. The V6 summons 436 bhp alone but, when the powertrain chimes in as one, its total output is 462 bhp and 516 pounds foot of torque. Audi claims 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds, 171 miles per hour, and a pinch of salt range of 746 miles. It's claimed the system reduces fuel consumption by a gallon every 282 miles and CO2 by 25 grams slash km compared to a non-hybrid V6, and allows for limited engine off-running in traffic. This drive system is a step towards optimizing efficiency and sustainability in large volume production, says Audi chairman Rupert Stadler. The combination of mild hybrid and a TFSI engine sets a new benchmark for the synthesis of electromobility and combustion engines and will be used in many models. Unlike the current plug-in hybrid Audi e-tron A3 and Q7, this new mild hybrid powertrain doesn't feature external charging, and uses a far smaller battery. The new powertrain also uses tech already deployed on its majestic diesel engine, as found in SQ7, to all but eliminate turbo lag, with a knee compressor spooling the turbos when exhaust pressure cannot. Electrification to boost performance, and economy. Hustlers will appreciate the immediate throttle response while dawdlers will achieve better economy by virtue of rarely having to shift down. Stadler says Audi will overcome the business challenges involved in getting three pure electric cars on sale by 2020. We will have an SUV first, even though the architecture is more difficult because you don't have perfect aerodynamics. But people love to sit in SUV. After the SUV, we will have a more emotional shape, on the same platform, and then a more compact bear on the VW MEB platform. I would like to have only small cars with less fuel consumption but there are customers who want 6 cylinders and 2.5 and 3.0 liter engines. And we have to compensate for that. It will be mild hybrids, plug-in hybrids, G-trons, slim G-compatible, e-trons, BEVs, it will be a bunch of technologies, because if you rely on only one you meet only 10% of the customer base.